Hello, it's me, Tallboy. Welcome to my stream. Glad you came to join me this evening as we play a game that is kind of weird, <laughs> to say the least. Um, so this game, I only ever got access to because my parents... I need to turn up the volume. Um, my parents ended up getting, and then we can adjust from there. Yeah. Maybe like there. I don't know. Anyways, um, so this game is created by a, I'm gonna say publishing service known as Game House. Um, like, I don't necessarily... I think it is only because if you go to extras, it's got that whatever, um, but then there. I believe it's published by this company. Um, anyways, though, it's a point-and-click, um, like, hidden object, somewhat, adventure game. I remember playing this, like, once before. So I remember like a couple of the story beats, but not necessarily much more beyond that. Um, now you may ask yourself, why are you playing this on stream? I don't know, I remembered the game and thought it'd be fun to stream. <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, click play with the spin animation. Wish me luck, Ruby, I'm off to see the world. Are you not frightened, Christine? Of course, that's how I know it's worth going. Ah, my dear Christine, how is it we grew up in the same house with the same friends, and yet we are so different? We're, we're so different. We may be different, but I am going to miss you terribly. Promise to write if you fall in love when I'm gone. Christine, goodbye, Ruby. Goodbye. <laughs> That's a very loud car. Pardon me, ma'am, I have a package for Ruby Benson. I'm from... From a Nathan Benison, Uncle Nathaniel, but he is all the way in London. He flagged me down just before I boarded the merchant vessel I sail on. My name is Louis C. Alexander. Pleased to meet you, Miss Ruby. Ruby Benson. Why this looks like my uncle's diary? Why would he send it to me? Why ever would he send it to me? His magic. Oops! It looks like something fell out of the diary. Allow me. Whoa. Oh my! And now the guy's like three inches tall. Again, bizarre story beats. Sakes alive! Oh my goodness! Oh, Uncle Nathaniel, what have you done? Well, I'd say he's done a marvelous thing if it was if it hadn't happened to me. <laughs> you must, you must go. You must go back to London at once. My uncle's a scientist. He'll have a cure in his lab. I'd better not waste any time then. My ship leaves for London within the hour. Mmm, that's all. Wait, how will you get to the docks like, like this? <laughs> like this? I assure you, I managed to get out about on my own quite well. I'm going with you. Uh, is that so? To the docks? To my uncle's. To London, if my uncle had not asked you to deliver this diary, you would have never found yourself in this predicament. Plus, you don't even know where he lives. I'm sorry, I'm quite... But I quite prefer to travel alone, says the guy who's now three inches tall. Nonsense, I will have my homemade call for a cab wait here. Housemaid, I can read. Oh, we're all the way in New York? Jeez. Loading. Hi, Ruby. Not quite New York, but not bad. See you later, Christine. <laughs> and this is also, uh, 1925. Darn it all. There's something wrong, Mr. Alexander. Key to my ship's quarters. I'm afraid I've dropped it down this sewer drain. If the key shrank with you, I don't think it's going to necessarily work regardless. 
Oh my, perhaps there's something we can use to fish it out. Let's have a look around. Oh, this is such a tiny game. I can't hardly see anything. That's a horseshoe. I don't need a horseshoe. Cool. Um... Okay, so if I can pick something up, it'll highlight. That's good to know. See, Nurk, we should take this lantern with us. Can you pick up with the boy? Okay, so key item. No, because that one didn't. Why do some highlight, but some don't? That's gonna be annoying. Now I could pick up the horseshoe. The hook available yet? No. Camping stove. I'm just kind of clicking on anything that I can in the hopes that it works. S hook. Kettle. A mouse. <laughs> Gotta love that. Um, a wheel. S hook, hammer, and knife. A hammer. Where is there a knife? I realize that some of these may not even <coughs> be interactable. Because I don't know if this is, I'm supposed to find everything and then it'll tell me where to go or what. Can't combine things like that. Uh, knife, knife, knife. I'm almost, nope, it's not really any better for me to look on the other screen. Where's the Kniffy? Part of the issue here is I don't know what type of knife I'm looking for. I see you this way. I'm tempted to just start with a hint. You didn't see a kniffy anywhere. I also can't seem to use anything at the moment. Yeah, I was never going to find that. Excuse me. Now that we have the items we need, let's fish the key out of the drain. Ruby and Lewis each have different items on them. You'll need to switch back and forth between them to gain access to all of them. Hmm. Like, ships that sail any minute, we need to fetch my key out of the drain in a hurry. Okay, well, I'm assuming the magnet ever banned. Rope. Sure. That, okay. Okay, fine then, be that way. Hey, look, it's not the key. <laughs> Goodness. There's the key. That's not the key. That's the key. Done. Why we're here. We're too late, the ship's gangplank has been raised. Wait, that car has yet to be brought on board. Maybe we can stow ourselves inside. Okay. Oh. Hey look, it's an S hook. We're not ready for that just yet. Again, just clicking seems to kind of be the way forwards. Um, invitation. A pillow. Hearts. <laughs> and a pen. 
and a necklace. A wire here. I can need to find a way to unlock the door so we can get in. Thank goodness that window was cracked open. Now if you can open the door. What? Need to loop that through something. Uh, now I can do that. And now I can... Cool. That was incredibly easy. You did it. The door is unlocked. To the ship. Oh. I love how they just... Also, the gangplank is clearly down there, but you know. Heaven forbid. Wait, why can you guys not... No, I don't want to skip the movie, but I want you guys to see it. Why can't you see it during... You couldn't see the animation at all. You guys also can't see this animation. You know what, we're just gonna go uh, this instead, because it'll probably be better so you guys can actually see things. Hmm, Mango's diary. We just scatter its pages all over the ship. It's my fault, I found... Should have warned you how windy this sh waterfront is. We need those pages. If we are to find your cure, Mr. Alexander, we had enough. We had better track them down quickly. Oh. Remember how the items are placed. You'll need to either put them back the way you found them or find new ways. Okay. What? What was that? Billy Jordan Piggy, now repack a suitcase without wasting any space. This is gonna be so fun. Okay, I don't want you in here anymore. No, oh, it's not. That one I can st Okay, and this was like definitely here. Um, where was it? I think that might have been there, maybe. Come on, can you, can you just cooperate a little bit here? Um, for not paying enough attention. I feel like I'm close, but not quite there. There we go. Ta-da! Well done. Lewis certainly could use a woman's touch around his quarter. Uh, that's so. To the deck. Oh. Did you from his breath, this cat must eat a lot of fish. Hey, look, we moved the cat. I don't even, like, I'm not even reading half of this stuff. I'm just kind of clicking. Because, is this all in this area? Yes. I 
<laughs> I took the boat out of the picture because that's how that works. Okay, nails, there's that. Boots, cool, another ship. And then an anchor. I saw the leg and I thought that was part of an anchor. Um, it's on the wall, that's fun. Nick is the only place we haven't searched, perhaps we should take a look around there. It's almost as if I just got myself out here, on my own, without you having to tell me, game. When do I grab the bird? I feel like the bird is going to be grabbable at some point. Poison, cool. Nope, oh, that knife I need. Not the other one from earlier, but that knife. A chain, a brush, and an arrow. Chain, brush, arrow. Tardar. Oop. It said something about lifeboat. Cool, now I can see things. Ha, ah, take that bird. Is it being sharp to cut that? Well, give me a second to find everything else and then I'll do that. Okay, fine. Maybe I can do that. Okay. I need an olive, which I just clicked on that, but okay. I need a cork, and I need bread. Cool, that's it. There's some money on the table in Luce's quarters. We better get it, it may come in handy. Cool, how do I leave? Ah, uh, we flip. Collect the money. This does not all look to be the same type of currency, therefore I don't know how useful that's going to be for you. But you know, pop off. It's just money in general, so it can be bills. No, nope, that's not what I wanted. One more money, I'm assuming it's a bill because I don't really see any quarters or anything of that nature. Oh, never mind, it's a coin in the porthole. Missing journal pieces have been found. Now we can finish reading it. Can I rotate them? Yep. Harder. I go there. No, I go. I don't know where that one go. No, that's because it's part of the other page. Hehe, <laughs> I'm smart. I can use my noggin on occasion. Not often, but you know, on occasion. Don't know if this will let me read afterwards, but we're gonna hope it does. The Shrinking Flower. Oh my. The diary contains all. This diary contains all that I have observed while studying the incredible shrinking flower. The legend is true. The pollen from single flower is capable of shrinking a grown adult to the size of a mere doll. This, there is a cure, but it must be taken within a year of shrinking, else the state becomes permanent. Oh no. 
These were not in like the 1800s where traveling across the ocean would take a couple months. Um, there are two ingredients required to make the antidote. Some ingredients can be found here in London, others require travel to distant lands to find. I shall send the reminder, the remainder of the pond to my niece in New York for safekeeping while I travel to find more ingredients for the antidote in order to protect my work from prying eyes. I have written down the list of ingredients using invisible inks, which can be revealed only by using items found in the different foreign lands where one must travel. Because that makes sense. Uh, keep revealing the invisible inks and the journal will guide your way. Safe. Stay safe, dear traveler. So he's like, yo, I want to make certain that I don't have like prying eyes figure out where I'm going and whatnot. But then he just says, oh yeah, by the way, in order to reveal the things, here's how you do it. Wave goodbye to New York. Next stop, London. See, I don't think you guys would have seen this animation that I kept it the other way. Well, it appears I'm off to London as a stowaway, no less. Where will my uncle think of me? I'm sure he'll understand. What's it like, London? Same as anywhere else, I suppose. I don't like to stay in any pl one place too long. It sounds dreadful. Home is home. Don't it be it ever so humble. Then welcome to my humble abode. Her, 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 her. Ha. Why, thank you, Mr. Alexander. You're very welcome, miss. But call me Lewis. Very well. Then you must call me Ruby. They'll date by the end of this, I'm sure. Goodness, I just realized... Here I am on a transatlantic steamboat with almost nothing to wear. Yeah, that's kind of your bad, though. What's wrong with that? You, huh, with what you have on now. The stress may suffice while reading in some improving books in the comfort of my parlor. Fancy, yes. Here it feels a bit restrictive. Allow me to direct you to our lost luggage hold. There you'll find ladies' clothing and privacy in abundance. I wonder why. It's almost as if. Lewis, you are a wonder. He's also kind of a. I don't know. Maybe if he doesn't use it, sure, whatever. But uh, assuming he uses it since he knows about it, I don't know if he's all that great a guy. Lurdle. To London we go. I'll take one of those, boy. At least I would if I could. But I cannot because the game don't want me to. I took the clock off of that. I don't think that was quite Big Ben, but you know. Close enough. Mister, you have a flower in your hat. Also, the question here. Am I just stealing all of these items? Like, am I just randomly picking up crap off of the... Whatever. What's up, basket lid? Sure, bud. Dog. Like, am I, am I just carrying a dog around now? Is that how this was working? I took the moon. Onion. I feel like I saw that, and now I can't remember where it was. So I need an umbrella, an onion, and a ladder. There's the ladder. Who needs a fire escape? Now an onion. Ah, uh, with the green attached. That's why it was more difficult to find. And an umbrella. I'm assuming it's going to be closed. It could very well be open. It's just gonna require me to use my eyes a little bit. Which heaven knows I'm not necessarily all that good at on the best of times. Ah. No, that's a scarf. I thought that was maybe an umbrella. Anyways. I 
see this rope thing here and I'm wondering why I'm not picking it up. That's apparently just a cane. I might have eventually found that, but we're not going to sit here for the next three hours looking for it. Ha, huh, I found... you found your uncle's laboratory. My uncle's laboratory, I dare say he is likely to be more surprised to see me than you, your present condition notwithstanding. Aren't you welcome here? Oh, quite, I've been invited on many an occasion. Then why didn't you come? I... I don't know, really. I suppose I've always been a bit reluctant to travel. Home is home, be it ever so humble, eh? Yes, well then, shall we say hulu to my dear Uncle Nathaniel and find your cure? After you, miss, er, I mean, Ruby. Jeez, imagine that, it's almost as if I'm the one walking here. Turn the price of the secret lock so that the image is connected. So I'm turning these golden cool going to be so difficult, I'm sure. Most of these are just, yep, have them look kind of upright. The it like flickers for a half second, the highlighted. And then it's like, wait a second, that's not correct. <coughs> And boom, done. I'm sure your uncle won't mind if you let yourself in. Well, he's not here. Hello, Uncle Nathaniel. Uncle, it is me, Ruby. It's almost as if he said he was going elsewhere. Looks like he stepped out. Yes, I suppose he will be back any moment. Well, I'm sure under the circumstances he will not mind if you take a look around. We're not ready for that yet. Well, what if I want to click on everything? Am I going to pick up the owl? Oh, I picked up a vial. Look at me go. Nope. There were some mice in the cage, now they've run away, poor things. I guess I'm gonna have to find all of those mice. The door's bro The door broke open and we need to catch the mice. Why don't we just let the cats, you know, have at them? I don't like him deal with this. Dust the book so we can read the titles. Books are clean. Uh, built by the Anthony and Jasmine Imports Inc. for Dr. Nathaniel Benison. Benisington. Huh. So there's an N here. Doesn't tell me what I'm supposed to be. Is it supposed to be his name? Yep. Because clearly that's where I wanted that to go. more journal pages you found some money hidden in the bookshelf i'm sure your uncle won't mind if you borrow some for the journey ahead that's so to reveal the first set of ingredients you need to mix together the eight green flasks found inside my laboratory in london according to your uncle's journal you need to find eight green flasks to reveal the rest of what's hidden written on the pages Oh my, it's almost as if I can click green things.
Yeah, 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 not ready for it. Flash should be in some of these drawers. What was... Nope, not that. Journal, there we go. 782... Three green flasks, and with this all out of the book, perhaps it'll come in handy later. Cool. Make sure to search the rest of the office. Well, I already have all of them, so. Processing container. Paper process. There are living ingredients needed to return a diminish a diminutized person to their normal size. I thought he said there was two ingredients. That lying bastard. You'll find the first two in London. One is an acorn from an from a century old oak, which can be found at the museum. You will also need to collect a cherry pit from each stop on your journey. The first one can also be found in my lab on my chemistry table. After London, you must travel to Morocco, where a dried hot pepper can be used to reveal which ingredients can be found to further unlock the tire. So I need a bunch of cherry pits and some acorns. Cool. Anything else in the office? Better check. Chemicals. Six milliliters. Um, let's wait four there. So four and then one. Nope, not quite. Um. That's three. What is this going to leave me with? One. It's just that, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I might not know how to do this entirely, but I know how to do it well enough. Hey look, it's the cherry pit that I need. <laughs> Boing. Thank you. Better check the office in case we missed anything. You found your first ingredient. Collect them during your adventure. You'll need to them in order to cook the antidote. Cool, I've already looked at that. Uh, ow, microscope. I'm gonna just click things and then eventually purposely click things. I need the deer. Let's go. Telescope and a horn. Are we talking like... I don't know, or are we talking like off a ram? Which, yes, that could technically be the same thing. Ah, me. Porn. Visit Bunky Buckingham Palace to find Thomas Clark, the designer of the miniature steam and steam train. I use the jar. We 
I use a stick. I use the stick in the letter. The ribbon. Ah. That's what it is. <laughs> and then there's one more somewhere. Ah, uh, he's up there. Cool, I have a bunch of mice. Where do I put them? I'm not ready for that yet. Acorn from the Century Oak. I'm stealing from the museum. All I've ever wanted to do. Okay, what do I need? I need a drawing compass. There's that. I need an arrow. What type of arrow? I don't know whether it'll be a sign arrow. Nope, it's a that arrow. I need a switch and a key. I have a switch right here. Is, is, does this suffice? Har har. <laughs> Anyways, um, a key. You're not ready for that. <laughs> okay then. Um, uh, excuse me. That's right. Night switch. There we go. Oh, and the key was right there. Cool. Cutscene. Psst. Do it. I, I just don't. I can. Let me do it then. I'll find them. No handling the exhibits, please. Why am I struggling to read? What if we got to the train started somehow? That'd distract the guard for sure. Do you know how to drive a train? I guess not. That plaque says the train was designed by Thomas Clark, a royal engineer. Maybe we can find him. It's almost as if it's said to go to Buckingham Palace for that. Royal engineer? Hmm, sounds like we need to start at Buckingham Palace. Almost as if it told us to do that. We need to find the royal engineer. He must be at the royal palace. The palace. Oh my, what a lovely party. Looks like it's just getting started. Yes, I suppose we'll have to come back later. We'll be waiting all night unless we can find a way to end it sooner. Didn't we see some mice in your uncle's lab? Mice, surely you don't mean to bring them here. You just have them in your pockets right now. Trust me, it'll be more excitement than these folks have had in ages. The party will be the talk of the town for weeks. People ran away. Nice. And my mission is complete. I have spread disease throughout Buckingham Palace. Just a pineapple in the piano, as one does. No. Hmm. How to start the train? Image on the left illustrates how to start the miniature steam locomotive. The lever needs to be set such that the pressure gauge on the right reads ADPA. All hoses should be connected, pulling on the tassel on the right rings the bell. the chairs. I need bows and now I need angels. Um, 
I'm assuming it's going to be some form of art piece. Unless that says angles. Or... No, because angles, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty certain that's angels. I might be wrong. Sure then, that works. <laughs> We need that acorn. We need that acorn being kept at the museum. Let's go back there and start the train to distract the car. Cool. You wanna, you wanna do that? Oop. Interesting. It's not like it's all different from how a steamship engine works, really. It's almost as if they're both steam powered. Hello again, I uh, came back for my, um, my handkerchief. Yes, I have... You seem to have misplaced it. Have you seen it? Whoa! Here goes nothing. <sighs> okay, we need the lever in there, and that on that. The tosser. The nut there. Cool, and then we tighten it. Cool. I did it. Right. What else? That's set to... Okay, that one's set to six. This one's set to two. Yeah, that's what I had it at. And then it was done. Cool. Maybe we should take another look at the museum. Mine. Well, now that I have committed theft, both London ingredients have been found. Next stop, Morocco. Morocco. Oh, Lewis, I am sorry we couldn't find all the ingredients here in London. I'll pay for your passage and reimburse you any expenses you... I will find my own way, thanks. But Morocco, it's... it's so far! It's three days cruise from London to Morocco, then a day by train into the Sahara. You've been? What is it? What's it like? It isn't London, or New York for that matter. Morocco can be a dangerous place for the uninitiated. Goodbye, Ruby. Dangerous. Yes, I suppose you're right. So maybe you shouldn't be traveling by yourself as a six-inch tall person. That's precisely why I'm going with you. What? No, I'm sorry, but it's unthinkable. I'll be fine on my own. No, you won't. It's my family that's to blame, Lewis, and whether you like it or not, you're going to need my help. I'm coming with you, and that's final. How would he hold the ingredients or do half of the things that would be required? Hey, look, it's an animation that you can see that you couldn't see before, I think. I don't know. Also, I started the stream way later than I was wanting to. The reason for that is because initially I was wanting to start at like six-ish even, if nothing else, seven. Um, and then I got way too invested in making a PowerPoint presentation. Fisherman, I need booze for him. That's what I'm betting, at least. Um, as I'm doing an event sort of thing with a bunch of people I know, um, and the activity that we've been informed to partake in before the actual thing happens is to um, make a PowerPoint presentation on something you're passionate about. So I made one on a uh, bouncy castle bot lane. And I'm going to be very intrigued to see how many people even remotely understand anything about it.
Also, okay, that's a dog. I thought that was like a mole or something. <laughs> they go away. Okay. What do I have left? Or lock that thing. And I guess now just a squash. Cool. Hi, buddy. Oop. Your uncle writes in his diary that we need to rub its pages with a hot pepper to see what ingredients can be found in Morocco. My uncle does not like his spicy foods. Let's give it a try. First, you need to first you need to place the blank pages in your journal. Uh, I need to actually rub it across my shelf. The following ingredients can be found here in Morocco. Orange oil, coconut milk, and a cherry pit. Brought forth from the continent's unique soil conditions. The orange oil may prove especially hard to recreate, but I recall a beautiful belly dancer at the place that is tremendously fond of the fragrance. Perhaps I can ask her for some. Your next destination is India. Use the curry powder there to reveal the next hidden texts. Oh man. There, see that man? He looks like a local. Perhaps you could ask him about the dancer? Beg your pardon, Ruby, but I don't think I'll get very far looking like this. Oh yes, of course. Ahem, pardon me, sir. My name is Ruby Benson. I am from New York. Hmm. You're in need of information about a dancer at the palace. Oil. Yes, yes, orange oil. We are in dire need of some olive oil. No, no, orange oil. Hmm, I'm afraid he does not understand. I believe I can translate. This man wants some olive oil with which to cook his meal. If we can get him some, he'll give us the information we need. But why not just give us the information we need now? You're a bit stuck up, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, but I'm important and you're not. One hand washes the other. If you're going to be a world traveler, you need to get used to these arrangements. She's really just like, yo, but you can just give me things instead of me having to do anything for you. Because I'm special like that. Can I take the horse? Is that an option? How have I not clicked on anything recently that I need? Really? Nothing here? A cat. Where is cat? Where is el gato? I see chickens. I need a basket, I need a lid, I need a rope, it's a lid apparently, a straw, which sort of straw are we talking, oh there's the cat, I also need a handle, a clover, ah there's rope, there's a handle on the saw, can I get that? <laughs> oh, the... So straw and a handle? What does it even mean handle? I can't take the teapot handle, I can't take that, I can't... No, not to the dock. Don't need to go back there. Not yet, at least. Come on. Anything. Half of the issue I'm running into is I don't know where I've actually clicked and where I haven't. Come on. 
I'm also really confused as to what it means by handle. That's what it means by handle. Okay, a straw. I'm assuming not a plastic one. Is it going to be a bundle of straw? Is it going to be a singular piece of straw? Is it coming out of the horse's mouth? <laughs> Turn an auto clicker on and just wave my mouse back and forth. What do you want from me? I guess I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna get the hint here and then be like, "Well, duh, it's there, of course. Couldn't you see that?" It's a hay bale behind the... Okay, fine. The farmer probably could help me find the olive oil. Pardon me, sir. May peace be upon you. How may I help you? Your name is new... Yeah. My name is Ruby Benson, and I should like to buy some of your olive oil. I regret to tell you I have none left for sale. Please come back tomorrow. Oh dear, I really do need some olive oil before then. Perhaps I could lend you a hand? How could I refuse the company of such a lovely young woman as yourself? If you could kindly help me sort out those crates of olives, I should. I shall do what I can. Okay. I'm gonna go for the obvious ones first. He's in the road. Um... See, now a trick that I learned, funnily enough, from watching Game Grumps is you, like, cross your eyes enough so that you can focus on both images, like, from opposite eyes and the, like, help in figuring out, uh, at least in theory, I might need to get my head closer. There we go. And now I'm looking to see what, like, doesn't exist in both, like what's kind of fading weirdly. Which I currently really don't see anything else which is concerning. Yeah, I can't see anything else. His shoe. Cool. Um, it's more than likely going to be like a color of an olive. No, nope, never mind. It's a nail missing there. Yeah. This looks like enough olives to make a good amount of olive oil. <gasps> Here you are, the finest olive oil in all the Arab world. Please allow me to pay you. I would not dream of it, please. Take it as a reminder of your travels here. Definitely not how that would go, but anyways. You are so kind, and I do not even know your name. My name is... Amal Basiri, I welcome you to this country. Thank you, Amal Bars Basiri. Basiri, blessings be upon you. Thank you. Yo, I got you some oil. Um, hello, do you remember me? I have brought you some olive oil. Mm. Now what can you tell us about the dancer of the palace? All of Arabia worships her 
yet she has only eyes for one, a young soldier who is madly in love with the girl. Can you tell me where to find him? It is most urgent. If you will let me eat my supper in peace, I will tell you where to find the lost treasure of the pirate Olivier Le Vassier himself. Ah, uh, now I go to the fruit stand for some reason. Get out of here, you infernal pests! Out! Excuse me, sir, we're in urgent need of some coconut milk. Do you have some for sale? Get out of my get off of my fruit stand! Excuse me, hello. Foul creatures, are you out to ruin me? It's no use, Lewis. I cannot get his attention. He is too preoccupied with the animals swarming his fruit stand. Let's help him clear them out, perhaps then he'll be more willing to help. Show sure, frogs and rats, but not other things. That's a monkey. There's another monkey somewhere. Where the monkey? Two more frogs, one more frog. That's not a frog. Ah, there's monkey. Mm, monkey. At this market, we should definitely find the coconuts that we need. A thousand thank yous. Those rotten pests would eat me out of my house and home. My name is Yusef. Please take help yourself to anything you would like for my cart. Thank you, Yusef. I am in need of some coconut milk. Can you tell me which of these coconuts still has some? Ah, lucky for you, I have a scale. It is the heavier coconut whose milk is not yet dried up. Is this gonna be... Never mind. With each pair of coconuts, balance one of the scales using the same combination of fruits and vegetables on each scale. instead of just weighing, you know, the coconuts, but you yeah, know, here we are. That one doesn't even move when I put it on. <laughs> no kiwis. Also, something tells me it's always going to be the one on the left. <laughs> I can't see half of the things on this one, but you know, we're here anyways. Cool. Also, I don't know why I need coconut milk. It probably would have told me if I'd gone to wherever else first. Coconuts have been collected. Now head to the outpost. Army outpost. Oh my, what a dashing young soldier. This must be the man with whom our dancer has fallen in love. Hmm. <laughs> Lieutenant Rami, what are you doing? Why are you not at your post? Commandant, forgive me, it is the phone. I was trying to fix it. Thank you? Have you not anything more important to do than fiddle with that stupid device? Just so you can talk to your paramour at the palace? Sir, yes, sir. It's just that um, without a telephone, we will need to have our. We will not be able to have our favorite wine delivered. <laughs> I want this one fixed within the hour. Do you? Th do I make myself clear? <laughs> yes, sir, Commandant. 
We're not ready for this. Oh, there's the phone. You no longer have phone. Enjoy never having your wine again. Nope, not that. I pick up snake. I pick up horse. Horse is in my pocket. Nope. Okay, that's clearly a pot, but you know, we'll, we'll say it's not for the sake of making the game happy. Okay, if that's not a clay pot, good heavens. Pile of crates, revolver. Not gonna be on this person, yes. And a rope. The rope could be where it is there though. The broken telephone hasn't been fixed yet, let's go ahead and fix it. Pardon me, Lieutenant Rami, I am my name is Ruby Benson. May I speak with you for a moment? I'm sorry, miss, but as you can see, if I do not get the telephone working again, the commandant will be very upset. We have a telephone in my home in New York. Perhaps I could help you. Broken phone. Find the needed spare parts for fixing the phone. Okay. In theory, everything should be visible here. And then the actual phone itself. Let's take this cherry pit too. It's one of the ingredients. Uh, it's a cherry pit. Let's prepare that all spare parts are found. Let's insert them into the correct slots. Receiver. Screw in there. Screw in there. Switches. Because that's clearly the order you do that in. Slap everything on and it works. Go to the palace to find the belly dancer. Now you had something to ask? You had something you wanted to ask? Yes, we hear you are betrothed to a dancer at the palace. We mean her no harm, but we need something from her tonight, if possible. Yes, my darling Vina, but she was supposed to have been here hours ago. I am on duty now and cannot go and see her, but perhaps she... No longer wishes to see me. I would die a million deaths if that were so. <laughs> Rolls his eye. Oh, brother. Please, go to her. I will give you her address. Tell me I would... Tell her I would cut out my very heart and lay it at her feet if she would but love only me. Um, yes, well, I will do my best to pass along the message. Please go to her. Tell her I am dying inside without her. Please. To the parish. Ooh la la, now I can see why our dashing young soldier was so torn apart. Huh? Newest Alexander, mind your tongue. Ah, not again. Pardon me, are you Vina? I am. Would you care for an autograph? Actually, I am bearing a message of sorts. It is from Lieutenant Ray. I mean, he waits for you in a fever of impatience. Ah, uh, yes, my little pet Rami. Oof. Oof. Alas, I cannot go out in public with my costume in such condition. The public would not accept it. I've become quite adept at sewing, actually, thanks to my mother and grandmother. May I help you mend it? I've tried many times to fix this and failed. The beads are too small, yet it, if it pleases you to try, you may do so. I picked up a cat. Because I did. Because I wanted to.
again though where like am i just grabbing these things and eating them around am i claiming them for myself what's the situation there Apparently nothing here is pick upable. Okay, dates. I'm pretty certain those are dates, but I guess I'm wrong. A flower. It's a butterfly, but that works, I guess. Nope. A spoon. Ah, there's the dates. There's a spoon somewhere. Not that I can necessarily see it. That's a flower. Okay. It's also metallic. But we're here anyways. Spoon. There is a spoon. The dress is on the sofa. There are beads lying on the sofa. We need to find the ones that are missing. So I'm just gonna click and eventually I'll have everything. And then a golden bead, cool. So terribly difficult. So they say. Thank you. I would like to make... I would make you my personal seamstress if you were so inclined. Madame Vina, if I could ask you for but one small favor in return. Vina is nothing but... if but generous, you may ask. That is a beautiful scent you are wearing. I was hoping that you might spare a little of it. Is it orange oil, correct? Of course, darling. You don't think it will... Well, <laughs> but don't think it will do for you what it does for me. There are limits to its powers, you know. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Okay. With Morocco behind us, it's off to Crown Jewel of England's Empire, India. I guess, yeah, this would be one that. India, you sound pleased. My sister and her little Michael would write us to us from India, the jewel of the crown, he called it. It's lucky then that my misfortune takes us there. <laughs> Lewis, can, how can you consider yourself lucky, considering all that has... I'm lucky to have met you, Ruby. Mm, he flirting. My Ruby, the sun has painted quite a blush on your delicate features. We simply must get you a parcel. Yes, well, shall I have the travel arrangements made? I love the fact that that... Like, they cut it off there. They didn't even add the line. It just cuts off there of, I simp. Or, <laughs> you know, he, he be a simpy boy. India. Can I take the goose? Is that even a goose? I think it's a goose. It looks like a goose. Can I take the peacock? Pots. Cool. I will eventually deal with pots. <laughs> Apparently I'm dealing with pots now. Cool, I just need to click on a bunch of them. I did no. Uh, 
the thing is there. Uh, so I have to take the ones off first. That's a lot of pots. Yep. I don't know why I did anything there. Move the parrots around so that all of them are singing. following here apparently I don't know I did it though find some curry to reveal more of your uncle's ingredients instructions I can read I took a bird out of the sky that bird is mine now those are onions but apparently it was those that it wanted, I don't know. Tower, cool. Bell, chilies, and an onion somewhere. Oh, Mr. Onion. The one I didn't click. <laughs> Great, now that we have the curry and feather, we can reveal some more pages of the journal. Uncle asks that we sprinkle curry powder on his diary to reveal the list of ingredients we need to find here. Let's check the market. I'd love to bring some back with me anyhow. First, you need to place it in the journal. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. Here in India, you must find the following. One cat's eye jewel, a semi-precious stone commonly used as currency there. One pet choli flower? Cherry pit grown in Indi on Indian soil. Imagine we find a cherry pit, but it was like imported. <laughs> Good luck, dear reader. I wonder who you are, if not me. Someone with a thirst for adventure, to be sure. Perhaps my niece, Christine. Nope. Rubel. When your adventure in India is nearly over, be sure to visit the university. You can reveal the next page of text there. The method of revealing the next text is quite shocking, I assure you. It's almost as if we're going to electrocute it or something. Hey, look, it's my sister. Christine! Ruby, however did you find me? I wasn't looking for you. I did not, er, that is, I did not mean to. <laughs> and what are you doing here? I have a doll man and he needs to be big. You could not believe me if I told you. Suffice to say, it is all Uncle Nathaniel's doing. Uncle Nathaniel? But I don't understand. Oh, he's a monkey. Why did we leave him alone in the birdcage in the first place? Why have we left him alone at all? <sighs> Allow me to show you, Lewis. Lewis, I... Oh my goodness, Lewis, where are you? You just hear this screaming monkey and Lewis. Who is Lewis? Ruby, are you alright? Christine, I cannot explain why, but I need to leave this very instant. You could just... We only just found each other. I know, but I have to leave. I will find you when I can, I promise. I'll have a boyfriend by that point, though. I'm seen at the Rada Hotel on something Avenue. Goodbye, Christine. Be careful, Ruby. Ooh, ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Hello there. <laughs> oh my, look at you. Are you a child of... Ganesha? Uh, no, I'm afraid not. I'm here because I need that cat's eye I see you have there. That is, if you will part with it. You may not be a child of Ganesha. 
think that's how that's pronounced. But you were surely sent to me. Sure, because it's clearly not just the monkey being a monkey. Help me see with my snakes. They are irritable because they have not fed and I need another to help charm them. I'm sorry, but I'm in a hurry. I was separated from my lady friend. She's never traveled alone before. I've got to find her. Do not worry. Ganesha will watch over her until you are reunited. Come. He's a big boy. I mean, I say that as if, again, is that the monkey that grabbed me? Can I beat it with a rock? <laughs> I say that as if Lewis isn't, again, doll-sized and tiny and, yeah. Nope, I'm taking things off of his... I forget what that head wear... I can't... headdress sounds wrong, but it might be correct terminology. I need a mantis. Cool. I'm clicking on the mantis. I need berries. Cool, I clicked on those, I know. And his ring. Let's see if there's another left one, because otherwise he'd be divorced. <laughs> the flute has been found, now we can soothe the snakes. We need to figure out which sounds will soothe the snakes. Okay, I get it. Correct. That apparently works. You go down and then you go up. Amazing. You play well. Have you done this before? I've seen it done once or twice when I was passing through. I never really stopped to take a look around though. Here, take the cat's eye. It'll protect you from harm and help you find your way. Ruby, I've got to find her. Follow me to my home, then let me put my snakes away and I will help you look for her. Maybe the snake charmer will help find the cherry pit as well. Bah, butterflies. Go, brighten someone else's day. <laughs> if that ain't the most like, you know, they're great, but I don't like them right now. Uh, it's the specific type of butterflies. Orange butterfly, because heaven forbid you call them a monarch butterfly. Spotted. And also the cherry pit somewhere. Ah, uh, there's the cherry pit. Oh my goodness, we nearly we caught nearly all of them. No you didn't. But anyways, thank you for helping me be rid of those bothersome pests. Now about your friend Ruby. Yes, well we have some errands to run, you see. Yes, yes, fine. And afterwards, we agreed we'd meet at the university in town to perform an experiment of sorts using her uncle's diary. Ah, yes, the university. I know it well. Come, come. How long have we gone for? Just over an hour? Oh, <laughs> like, is it not gonna tell me? Let's check this table for physics guides or whatever that just said. Turn the electricity on, set the electron tubes into the stand, and connect the wires after that. Burn the secret pages in the grid. Eh. Am I able to actually do something here, or do I need to leave? Okay, <laughs> yeah, I'm like, that doesn't she no, not yet. I have a 
click on everything. Whether things will actually allow me to click on them is another question, but I will click on them all. He's sitting right next to it. Meet Ruby at the library. No. What do you mean you're not gonna go in? Fine then, be a dum dum. It's not even the right one. That would make sense that it doesn't go in. Electricity is on. Now put the papers into the grid to fry them to reveal. Zap, zap. Cool. Well done. Thank you. Ruby, Ruby. Lewis, thank goodness you are all right. Huh, I was going to say the same thing. Lewis, India is wonderful. And look, I have the patchouli flour we needed. I too have been busy. I have the cat's eye and the cherry pit. Oh, Lewis, when I saw the cage was empty, I, I, it was nothing. For the most part, I was fine. Except, except, got a little worried about you, that's all. I guess it's been a long time since I was accountable for someone other than myself. <laughs> oh, my, well, um, shall we go find the rest of my uncle's diary, then? You bid India adieu as you head towards the Orient. Bother, Lewis, I'm afraid. Um, continue to travel for your cure. It's time. This time, it is in the Orient. Uh, at this point, I expect nothing less. You know, we don't have to rush on my account. Don't have to rush? Aren't you eager to be yourself again? Of course I am. It's just, well, traveling with you, it's it's an unexpected pleasure. He flirting. Lewis, you do surprise. Let's go see the Taj Mahal. Afterwards, we can have to go... If we have to go to the moon, we'll do that. That's the spirit. We'll go to the moon. Like in... Why well, can't I think of the name of the author... Jules Verne. I think it was to the moon and back or something. What was the title of that book? I can't fully remember. Anyways. <sighs> also, how long has this, in theory, been? A week, maybe, to travel there? Said it took like a couple days there. Probably a week. And it's not been too terribly long. Good afternoon, sir. Go away, get out of here. I beg your pardon? This place is bad luck. If you stay here, you'll have bad luck too. Bad luck. I've had bad luck ever since my dear, my dead mother-in-law got mad at me for not putting enough spirit money on her altar. I can't help it. Business is down. With all respect, certainly you can't believe that. She hated me when she was alive, and she hates me even more now that she's dead. You see that wind chime? Yesterday it was fine. Today I arrive at the store to find it completely broken. I'm telling you, this place is cursed. Maybe just you. Not necessarily this place, but you. Long shtick. Oh, it's 
just all sticks. I need my sticks. I need my long, my medium, and my small sticks. Okay, now I feel stupid because I can't see anything. Uh, I need to do wind chimes. Uh oh. Let me put the missing wind chimes back together. Ah. Uh. I don't see any. Yet, obviously, I need them all, I would assume. Ugh. Can I just, like, you can make me click down here every time. Why ain't you gotta do that to me, bruh? Can't even see where I'm supposed to be putting this. Sticks. Oh, there's one. These ones apparently are a little bit more well hidden, in theory. That or I'm just bad. Which is a perfectly possible outcome of this. Okay, is that medium? Of course it's medium. I need one more of each. you've successfully harvested ingredients ingredients from India yeah, it will be time for you to travel to Shanghai China along the East China Sea the ingredients to be found there are nephrite mortar mortar yeah rarer than one might think though many shops carry some mandrake root thought by some to have medicinal value when taken with tea a cherry pit from a cherry from a cherry ripened under the oriental sun. Congratulations, dear traveler. Your journey is almost at an end. To reveal the last list of the ingredients necessary, you must find some decoding strips I have carefully hidden. Follow my footsteps and you will find them. We can see all the things that I had. That is not the size of that it was, but you know we're here anyways. Anyways, you know what else is here that I can't find? Sticks. I need my chimes, bruh. Are you hiding them on your body? Okay, I am genuinely so... I'm like, just behind everything. Is that why I can't find them? Because they're... Like... A smithering of them is visible. Whatever. There and there. Cool, that one's done. And then we go here and here. And then that one's done. And then we cry because we need to find one more. Come on. Where are you? Come out and play. For real though, where is this thing? Like, I do not see anything even remotely close to a stick. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. You kidding me? 
thought it was that thing just going up and down. All the six reading chains should be found. Now fix it, stupid. Okay, where is this? It's over here. It's not even over here, it's just the mouse is being funky. Now I think the merchant will calm down. Maybe. I don't know. Smiling. Hey, you fixed the wind chime. Perhaps your luck has turned around. We'll see. What can I do for you? I'm in desperate need to find some nephrite mortar. I do not have much currency, but I will accept a promissory. But if you'll accept a promissory note, I can send you. Sorry, lady, you seem nice. You fixed my wind chime and all, but business is really slow thanks to my signboard. I can't sell on credit. What is wrong with your signboard? Ever since the bad luck started, no calligrapher wants to letter my signboard for me. Customers just pass the place by. I have excellent penmanship. If I letter your signboard well, for you, then may I... Then may we have the nephrite mortar? Sorry, only a highly skilled calligrapher can command the attention of my customers. Though if you knew enough calligraphy to do the Chinese way, well then, maybe. Now where do I venture off to? We're not ready for that yet. Cool. House in the mountains. Let's visit the calligrapher's gazebo and talk to the calligrapher about the title board. There, Ruby. That looks to be our man. Pardon me, sir. I'm terribly sorry to interrupt. What may I do for you? I'm afraid I need a favor. Actually, one of the merchants in town needs his signboard lettered, and I... Yes, I know him. Sean, he is called. Shan. Not Sean. <laughs> I refuse to work for that Philistine. Well, perhaps you would do it for me instead. I could pay you a little something. I am an artist, not a day laborer. Well, thank you for your time, sir. I am sure I can easily find another talented calligrapher in town that can help me. I'm the best at my craft here or in any other province. Good enough to teach even me. Good enough to teach even you. Though perhaps not without a fresh cup of tea with which to clear my mind. Oh my, it's almost as if we have to find all the supplies for the tea. No, I don't want to leave. Panda! I don't want to leave. Stop trying to make me leave. Nope, not that. This is the issue with these games. They don't let me spam click easily. <laughs> Clearly that's the issue of the game and not me. Okay, really? Kono Bush? Ah. Rainbow! Flowers... And the Great... We're just gonna casually grab the Great Wall of China, stick it in our back pocket, you know, for later. Okay, there's one more flower. I do not see a flower. I might be blind. Ah, because it's on there. I'd better check the other areas for the rest of the items. Of course. So now I get to spam click in here and maybe have something happen. Oh my goodness! Why you gotta do that to me? Nope. Oh. Oh. I'm just taking the, the dragons off of his, whatever it's called, building. <laughs> okay, I need a cat, a fan, a vase, seashell, uh, that sort of cat. I just need a seashell.
and not see <laughs> the shell. Ah, cool, I'm just blind. Some items can be somewhere near the some items can be somewhere near the calligrapher in the gazebo. I have to find items in here. Daddy. Have your tea scoop. <laughs> and ta da. All your tea shit is there. The calligrapher is pleased with the ceremony you laid out before him. He's ready to teach you his art. It's waiting for the teacup we've promised. You have patience for a Westerner. Thank you, the ceremony was my pleasure. Indeed, and now are you ready to begin your lesson? Nothing would make me happier than to learn by your side, Mr. Tung Tung Xiang Tung Qian Ching Ching Come sit. You're an excellent student, not that the merchant Shan would Shane Shan would know the difference. Thank you, Tung Tung. You are being very generous, but I am afraid I must ask you for one more favor. Yes? I noticed during the tea ceremony that you have some mandrake root. Might you spare some? I can assure you it is a matter of grave importance. As an artist, I draw my inspiration from the beauty of my surroundings. If someone were to give me a new teacup, one worthy of an artist of my stature, this guy is more high and mighty than Ruby was earlier, I would be happy to part with some mandrake root in return. An artist of your skill deserves nothing less, Tung. It will be my pleasure to honor you so. So now I'm needing to go to Delaware. Can I go this way? No. I'm assuming it's an exit from here. No. Perhaps the Empress Palace has one that's worthy. How do I get to the Emperor's Palace then? Eh. Oh. I can now do the title board. Draw and drag and drop the parts of the characters from the upper panel onto the title board. Rotate them with the right mouse button. Bump. If it says drag and drop, then it's like, actually, that's not what you're doing, though. You're just clicking. Nope. Hmm, do I get a squeaky lid down here? Oh, so you know, this is the traditional way of writing, um, <laughs> in... I would assume Chinese. I think it's Chinese. I'm not too certain though. The only one that I more or less know for certain is Korean because it has a bunch of circles in it. Perfect, the merchant should be happy to part with some nephrite mortar after he sees your work. Say, so, yeah, how'd you learn to write the Chinese alphabet so well? I told you, I have excellent penmanship. Signboard is perfect. I am back in business here to make all the mortar you want, lady. That's. I guess that would make sense because I'm like, a mortar and pestle is a tool. Apparently, yes. Can I take this guy's mask? No. Not yet, at least. I will take it at some point. The door to the palace! Place letters according to the Chinese calendar. Use the stick to 
collect lanterns up or pick them up. That's a rabbit. That's a ram. That's a what? Not. Oh, these ones are wrong. That's a pig. A horse. A bill. A rooster. A. Nope, not there. What's that one supposed to be? A snake. That's man. Dog. I'm so confused. Dragon. Mouse. Pig and monkey. What's that one? I freak. Now that the lanterns have been put away, the doorway to the Emperor's Palace is clear. Oh. Hold up. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. We are currently in a seemingly, at least from what I can tell, Chinese like whatever, my brain's farting here. Like a Chinese temple. And then they have a Buddha statue? <laughs> That's not how that one works. Template. I've been clicking on them, but I don't know what exactly it means by that. What do you mean, template? Oh. Okay, that's fair. Okay, there's that. Cabinet. Let's check the cabinet. Imagine that. Hey look, it's the cherry pit. Okay, so I need... Okay, do I have all the chakras? I can't remember what half of the chakras are. I know there's like root and mind and I think hearts one. I'm not one of certain. Take the two templates from the scroll. What? I can't remember. The cup would have a wonderful, would make a wonderful gift for the calligrapher. I'm sure the emperor won't miss it. So this is supposed to be the Emperor's Palace, and I'm just casually stealing from it. I mean, then again, I did uh, grab the Great Wall of China, and just kind of took that for myself. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> your masks are mine! It's a bamboo there. No, no one won't let me pick it up. A statue. And an amulet. Nope, stop it. Prosperity amulet. Does that know what this is? And bamboo. That's apparently the prosperity amulet. That I can just say I don't know the stuff about it. Okay, that's clearly the bamboo, no? The bamboo leaves. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Whatever. We need to bring the Emperor's Cup to the calligrapher. You know, I brought you a gift. Pardon the intrusion, Master Xiang. Xiang. Sound, I think. I don't know. I'm probably misprint. I haven't seen that. Hope you find my gift worthy. Ah, uh, yes. A most exquisite teacup. Thank you, child. Please, help yourself to some mandric root. You are too kind, Master Xiang. Oh, for Pete's sake. See, but we're not anywhere near. That would be an Irish 
not Lord, but Saint, right? Saint Peter, I think. And then we can find out what ingredients are left. Oh, right. The decoding thing. Those decoding strips were, we found at the castle. What do you suppose they are for? Hmm, I believe it is a puzzle. Here, I'll show you. Coded message. Um, that's nothing. That's nothing. I see mother. I see tea. Hawaiian cherry. Well, I think that's probably it. Three. Oh, ah, if you get it correct, it just gives it to you. There's a period there. Obsidian pestle. Spoon four. One cherry pit. Okay. One obsidian pestle, two more, two one hibiscus flower. Oh, because it's list. With the business in China concluded, it's off to the Hawaiian Islands. The Hawaiian Islands. My sister will be absolute, obscenely jealous. Ruby, there's something we have to talk about. I think I should go alone. I would disagree. What? Have I not been helpful? Have I not done everything in my power to... Damn it. You have done everything a person could expect and more. Do I bore you? <laughs> She's getting angry. No, not at all. Is it because I am a woman then? <laughs> of course not. I love women. Every day. Then why? Because I would rather stay small forever than see something terrible happen to you. What's going to happen in Hawaii? What do you think is going to happen in Hawaii, my dude? Why, Louis Alexander, of all the selfish, dunder-headed things to assume. Dunder-headed? Exactly. The decision to carry on is mine and mine alone. I will not leave you. Oh, silhouette there. Off to Hawaii. Hawaii. Probably will be done next 12 minutes for the two hours. Hawaii. Oh no! <laughs> Excuse me, young man, is something wrong? There's a hole in my net. If I don't bring enough fish to, mar to the market, my brothers and sisters will go hungry. Or you could just catch the fish and bring it home. Anyways. Oh no, Lewis, we must do something. You're right, my cure can wait. Let's give a hand. Let's give him a hand before these fish make it back to open water. I was thinking he was being sarcastic. He is definitely not. He should have been sarcastic. Also, I love the boy looked directly at us to say, Oh no. Aha, take that bird. I'll show you what for. Okay, come on, really? Which also, not anything related to this at all, um, but the new Skarner rework is on PBE, and I personally think it's kind of fun. I haven't played a whole ton of it, but I think it works pretty well. Uh, no, but the thing that I was going to say is you can... Like, the emote is, um, whatever it's called. Why is my brain farting so much? Is Crab Rave. Sprat? I'm assuming that's a type of fish? Yes, it looks like a herring. Done, the boy's catch is all here. Luby. Luby Rook. Wow, I can English. Ruby, look. A piece of obsidian. Just what we need. Excuse me, young man. Yes, ma'am? Could you let me have that piece of obsidian attached to your net? Yes, ma'am, but I'll have to find another skinner, though. And I need to get the net mended, too, so I can keep fishing. 
You run along and find another rock. I'll mend your net while you are gone. Also, does this... So, yeah. One. Obsidian pestle. Two. One hibiscus flower. Three. Pepeo mother of pearl. Okay. Mother of pearl spoon. Four. One cherry pit from a Hawaiian cherry. Now, dear reader, be sure to travel to Hawaii. And tropical paradise home to some of the most hospitable people under the sea under the sun we're not we're not talking about sebastian and atlantis here you'll need the following ingredients the recipe for the antidote put the five cherry pits the acorn the mandrake root the patchouli flower petals from the hibiscus flower and the cat's eye stone into the nephrite mortar grind them thoroughly with the obsidian pestle Add the mix to a distilling tank, add several drops of the orange oil and coconut milk. Heat the mixture until it boils. Keep a steady boil until the liquid evaporates to the point where it can be collected in a vial. The antidote is ready. Drinking from, drinking some from the mother of pearl spoon will return the afflicted to their normal size. All these random things that just kind of don't make much sense. I need the spoon. I'm assuming... So that's going to be the pestle. This is obviously the spoon. I need one more cherry pit. And what was the last thing on here? Oh, the hibiscus flower. Wait. Anyways, let's mend this. Connect the torn end of the rope. Don't place the rope on the fixed end. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I'm doing the thing, I guess. Ta-da, we did it. <laughs> now that the net is repaired, the boy will be happy to give us the obsidian. Except it's not just the rock we need, we need it as a pestle. Here you are, young man. Mahalo ni lao, lady, thanks a lot. Apparently it's just a pestle, though, so, you know. To the plantation! Oh my, what a beautiful hibiscus flower. Dakini, it is my it is for my sweetheart to ask her to marry. Oh, then I could not possibly ask for it then. Good luck to you. On this island we have many beautiful flowers that my sweetheart really wants. What my sweetheart really wants is a fancy umbrella like the little girl in town. You mean a parcel? Parasol? Parcel. Clearly, that's what that said, Jacob. <laughs> yes, I'm too poor to buy one. But maybe you could buy it and we could trade. I think that a parasol would make a lovely gift for your betrothed. I will return with one at once. Uh, beach gazebo. That must be her, the little girl our groom-to-be spoke of. Oh, boo-hoo, my favorite picture book. How will I ever learn to be a proper lady without it? Pardon me, miss, but I know that it is... But I know what it is like to be in your situation. May I help you retrieve your pages? Oh, please, would you? If I get my dress dirty before the tea party, I shall simply faint from embarrassment. Oh, no. So terrible for you. I'm so sad for you, you and your high societal status. There we go, now I can pick up the tea party stuff. Why is there glowing behind you? Okay, come on. There's gotta be other stuff in here. Doll. Oh, a very terrifying looking doll at that, but a doll nonetheless. A horse. A milk jug, which I'm certain I'd clicked on before. Equation. Crown. Um, here. Scissors. Don't run with those. But we'll give them to the child anyways. And bracelets. There's bracelets. And there's the scissors. They're gonna tell me. Yep. There's some more pages from the 
girl's coloring book around the outside of the house. Better fetch them for her. I mean, this is where all of the pages are. I want the knife. Let's go. I can stab the child now. Stab the child, take the parasol, and book it. Nope, not what I wanted. I take the ducks. Can I stab the ducks? We may never know. I have acquired the ducks. Just a question of whether I can do anything with them or not. Why is there a giant space there? Anyways, bird and where is other bird? Bird. I require bird. There's a spare wheel. Ah, yes. Because a pelican is what I think of. <laughs> Looked like a pelican. At least the bill. I have collected all the pages. Let's put them together. Here's your pages. Put the pages back into the folder. Uh, yeah. Okay, what? A? How am I? T There's no X or Z or whatever it's called. There's no. Okay, I did see a W though, so it's probably. Sure, because that works. Uh, so then. You no you that would do it. S and then Q. Um I think there was an O, yep. Is there a P? Nope, so then we go M G no K then I and then G and then E and C and A. Ta da! <laughs> Lesson learner is restored. Perhaps now the young girl will be would be willing to sell her, sell you her parasol. Here you are. I believe these are your pages. Thank you. If you don't mind me asking, where did you get such a lovely parasol? I have a friend who would love to have one just like it. You can keep it. Are you sure? Uh huh. I have another one just like it at home here. Oh my stars! It is. Is that a mother pearl spoon? Uh -huh, I have lots and lots. I know how to make them. Nice. Do you think I could have one of your spoons? Uh huh. Thank you so much. As soon as you give me a fruit snack. Wait. Oh, um, very well. Then I will see what I can do. Ha ha ha. That's a cup, not a spoon. Salad vase. I'm supposed to, I assume, go to the plantation and get a crap ton of fruit. Here's that for you. The lacy umbrella, you found it? Indeed I have. Here, take it, give it to your fiancé with my regards. Technically, they're not actually engaged yet. He's going to go ask. She could say no. Then this flower is for you. A hui ho until we meet again. Nice. Bananas. Like, I can probably pick up the lay, right? A caterpillar and lizards. That wasn't a lizard, that was a frog. That's a lizard. That's a key. I need two frogs. I need one frog. A caterpillar and a lizard. I'm assuming that lizards are probably going to be on a vertical or something. Yep. Now a caterpillar. And a forg. 
Where is Frog? Frog. There is Frog. Now where is that caterpillar? The answer is apparently there. Never would have seen that. Anyways. We have enough fresh fruit here to make a salad fit for a queen. That's kind of neat. Tardar. Shunk. 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 And now... Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Is that guava? No, guava I think is a yellow fruit. What is... Is this supposed to be a watermelon? How this is supposed to be? Okay, I definitely had that, but you know, pop off. What is this supposed to be? I'm genuinely confused. Oh, it's a pomegranate. Is it? No, I don't know. Uh, yes, because clearly using a knife is the most effective way to peel a banana. Clearly. Ah, uh, because I have to peel the entire thing off. The... Come on. Stop be- Okay, really? Am I going too high, too low? What do you mean? You are a dum dum. You are going to piss me off. If I go lower. Nope. What if I go higher? Finally! Good heavens. Jeez. <laughs> This is a mango. See that one? Not even the one I'm going for. It's like, yep, we'll take that one off. <laughs> but nope, the banana has to be the most annoying one. Okay, come on. Ta-da. 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 <sighs> Chippity choppity, schlippity schloppity. I'm forgetting. I don't think mangoes are a pit fruit, right? Maybe they are. I have fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Fruit salad is ready. Let's give it to our little girl. Makes it sound like it's our child. There you go, dear. One large bowl of fresh fruit. Of fresh cut fruit. I shall wait here while you finish. Nom, 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 nom. Oh my, please do not rush out of my- nom 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 nom, all finished. Can I have some more? <laughs> Arrogant child. We still haven't been down to the beach. Let's go! To the beach. Why do all of these children look so depressed? My ship, my doll, my shovel, my plane, my car, my ball! Are children always this loud? Yes. Always. <laughs> Well, I suppose we better lend them a hand. Why, Lewis, you old softy, you. I, er, it's not that, it's just hard to concentrate. Child. Can I please pick up some things instead of the game being like, nope, not allowed. things are going to be pains in my buttocks. Who wants a seagull? <laughs> oh 
Who wants a turtle? Hmm, we did burn. A sand bucket somewhere. And a fish. Okay, I've been clicking on this fish for how many times? Jeez. Um, is a sand bucket somewhere? Is it on one of the children? <laughs> Am I just blind? There's your ball. There's your boat. There's your car. There's your shovel. There's your doll. There's your plane. Where's the sand bucket? What do you... That is a sand castle, my dude. Now we've picked up all the toys. Let's give them back to the children. I already did that. Hey, a doll. Why did I leave Lewis out of my sight? <laughs> what? No, no, I'm not a doll. I'm a grown man. Wow, a talking doll. Imagine that. The child doesn't know what's going on. Put me down, kid. Ruby, Ruby, Ruby. Shoot, she can't hear me. Help. I love how they highlight the child instead of Lewis. <laughs> but then the... Okay. <sighs> this is like one of the only things that I remember is the fact that a child kidnaps you. Which is funny because it's a kid kidnapping. Hey look, a cherry pit. Oh, so this is a decently sized sand castle, I must say. I have one more stick somewhere. There we go. Okay, now I can get out of this sand castle. Okay, well... That one's gonna go up there, that one's gonna go down there. Okay, find it. <laughs> that one's at the top. Okay, whatever. Also looks more like I'm barricading myself in. No, I still think heavens, where have you been? I was, uh, entertaining one of the children. What, Lewis, this is no time to frolic in the sand. We have not yet found all the ingredients we need. Ah, uh, yes, well, perhaps you... There, you are mistaken. Look here. Lewis. Do you know what this means? We can finally begin making the antidote. And let's get back to work quickly before I end up in some child's dollhouse or worse. Okay, the first thing was to put all of the... Okay, I guess the first thing is to get everything out. <laughs> Find them. Okay. Mandrake root. And then... The flower, and then the acorn, and then the cherry pitch, and then the hibiscus, and then the cat's eye. Don't know how we're gonna grind that up, but you know, we're here anyways. Put that in, then this, and this, and then fire. Fire. Ah, oh, we just click it. And then wabber burger. We get it all in here. And now we can. Oh. There you go. Lewis is growing! That's what we like to call hormones. Har har har. It, it works. The cure works. He also didn't drink it out of it, he drank it out of his hands. Lewis, it's happening! Something I want to tell you for... I've wanted to tell you for some time now. That's not words. That's a kiss. How dare you lie and tell me that you have words. Five years later. Child, I assume? Uncle Nathaniel! <laughs> that is a terrifying looking baby. <laughs> we named him after Ruby and her sister, Christine. And allow me to introduce you to Ruben Kristen. Extremely urgent. From Christine to... I think if you press play. Do you want to continue your save game? Yes. 
Doesn't it just like force you to not do anything? Yeah, you can just do this again. <laughs> cool. That's the end of the game. Just a just a little bit of a short venture. So that's that kind of fun. Um, I mostly just wanted to uh, play something for the stream, and I was like, eh, Cardo doesn't sound... Like, I do want to finish Cardo on stream, because it was kind of fun. I just... it sounded kind of boring <laughs> right now. I was actually trying to see if I had a platformer that I could do that sounded interesting, and nothing really did. So there you go, we just beat that. <laughs> Anyways... That is going to go ahead and do it for me today. If you enjoyed, make sure you go ahead and drop a follow here on Twitch. You can find links down below to Twitter and YouTube channels. Um, we'll see if I eventually end up actually using any of those more than they currently are not being used. Uh, but we'll just have to see. A lot of that comes down to uh, finding the time to and also... I know that it's going to be a pain to upload videos because of the fact that my internet speed on the upload is pretty bad here. Anyways, it's going to go ahead and do it for me today. I hope you have a wonderful day, evening, afternoon, whatever the case may be for you. Until next time, remember to stand tall. Reach upwards. Um, I will almost definitely not be live tomorrow. Mostly just because I have... A group therapy session and then I have um, a game night or I guess it's a movie night this week with some friends um, so probably expect a stream on Thursday or Friday we'll shoot for Thursday but we'll see if that ends up working out um, regardless though I hope you're all staying safe and staying sane out there until next time au revoir, au revoir, and goodbye